Question 1. What is structured analysis? Answer. Structured analysis is a development method that allows the analyst to understand the system and its activities in a logical way. It is a systematic approach which uses graphical tools that analyze and refine the objectives of an existing system and develop a new system specification which can be easily understandable by user. It has following attributes. It is graphic which specifies the presentation of application. It divides the processes so that it gives a clear picture of system flow. It is logical rather than physical i.e. the elements of system do not depend on vendor or hardware. It is an approach that works from high level overviews to lower level details. Question 2. What are structured analysis tools? Answer. Structured analysis tools. During structured analysis, various tools and techniques are used for system development. They are data flow diagrams, data dictionary, decision trees, decision tables, structured English, pseudocode. Question 3. Explain data flow diagrams or bubble chart. Answer. It is a technique developed by Larry Constantine to express the requirements of system in a graphical form. It shows the flow of data between various functions of system and specifies how the current system is implemented. It is an initial stage of design phase that functionally divides the requirement specifications down to the lowest level of detail. Its graphical nature makes it a good communication tool between user and analyst or analyst and system design. Designer. It gives an overview of what data a system processes, what transformations are performed, what data are stored, what results are produced and where they flow. Question 4. What are the types of DFD? Answer. Types of DFD. DFDs are of two types, physical DFD and logical DFD. Physical DFD. It is implementation dependent. It shows which functions are performed. It provides low level details of hardware, software, files and people. It depicts how the current system operates and how a system will be implemented. Logical DFD. It is implementation independent. It focuses only on the flow of data between processes. It explains events of systems and data required by each event. It shows how business operates, not how the system can be implemented. Question 5. What is requirements determination? Answer. A requirement is a vital feature of a new system which may include processing or capturing of data, controlling the activities of business, producing information and supporting the management. Requirements determination involves studying the existing system and gathering details to find out what are the requirements, how it works, and where improvements should be made. Question 6. What are the activities in requirement determination? Answer. Major activities in requirement determination. Requirements anticipation. It predicts the characteristics of system based on previous experience which include certain problems or features and requirements for a new system. It can lead to analysis of areas that would otherwise go unnoticed by an experienced analyst. But if shortcuts are taken and bias is introduced in conducting the investigation, then requirement anticipation can be half baked requirements investigation it is studying the current system and documenting its features for further analysis it is at the heart of system analysis where analyst documenting and describing system features using fact finding techniques prototyping and computer assisted tools requirements specifications it includes the analysis of data which determine the requirement specification description of features for new system and specifying what information requirements will be provided it includes analysis of factual data, identification of essential requirements, and selection of requirement fulfillment strategies. Question 7. Explain information gathering technique interviewing. Answer. Interviewing. Systems analyst collects information from individuals or groups by interviewing. The analyst can be formal, legalistic, play politics, or be informal. As the success of an interview depends on the skill of analyst as interviewer, it can be done in two ways. Unstructured interview. The system analyst conducts question-answer session to acquire basic information of the system. Structured interview. It has standard questions which user need to respond in either close, objective, or open, descriptive, format. Advantages of interviewing. This method is frequently the best source of gathering qualitative information. It is useful for them who do not communicate effectively in writing or who may not have the time to complete questionnaire. Information can easily be validated and cross-checked immediately. It can handle the complex subjects. It is easy to discover key problem by seeking opinions. It bridges the gaps in the areas of misunderstandings and minimizes future problems. Problems. 
Question 8. Explain information gathering technique. Question is answer. Question is this method is used by analysts to gather information about various issues of system from large number of persons. There are two types of question errors. Open-ended question errors. It consists of questions that can be easily and correctly interpreted. They can explore a problem and lead to a specific direction of answer. Closed-ended question errors. It consists of questions that are used when the systems analyst effectively lists all possible responses which are mutually exclusive advantages of question errors it is very effective in surveying interests attitudes feelings and beliefs of users which are not co-located it is useful in situation to know what proportion of a given group approves or disapproves of a particular feature of the proposed system it is useful to determine the overall opinion before giving any specific direction to the system project it is more reliable and provides high confidentiality of honest responses it is appropriate for electing factual information and for statistical data collection which can be emailed and sent by post Question 9. Explain review of records, procedures and forms. Answer. Review of records, procedures and forms. Review of existing records, procedures and forms helps to seek insight into a system which describes the current system capabilities, its operations or activities. Advantages. It helps user to gain some knowledge about the organization or operations by themselves before they impose upon others. It helps in documenting current operations within short span of time as the procedure manuals and forms describe the format and functions of present system it can provide a clear understanding about the transactions that are handled in the organization identifying input for processing and evaluating performance it can help an analyst to understand the system in terms of the operations that must be supported it describes the problem its affected parts and the proposed solution Question 10. Explain Joint Application Development. Answer. Joint Application Development. JAD. It is a new technique developed by IBM which brings owners, users, analysts, designers, and builders to define and design the system using organized and intensive workshops. Your trained analyst act as facilitator for workshop who has some specialized skills. Advantages of JA. It saves time and cost by replacing months of traditional interviews and follow-up meetings. It is useful in organization culture which supports joint problem solving fosters formal relationships among multiple levels of employees it can lead to development of design creatively it allows rapid development and improves ownership of information system